Good morning. Uh, it's a day after Mother's Day, and uh, I just wanted to uh, tip the old hat to all the mothers out there. My favorite one being my little sister, Jen. Hey, Jen. Um, as far as the knickknacks are concerned, this isn't to be morbid, um, but this is uh, my stepmother, my stepmother, Cheryl Holmes. Uh, she also sits on my uh, desk back there. Um, she took care of us from when uh, my mother died when I was 11 uh, on. And uh, I was there holding her hand during her last breath two years ago. She had cancer. And uh, I visited her on Mother's Day. And she uh, passed two days after that. So anyway, um, it was a fulfilling time because we knew it was happening. And um, I was happy to be there for her. Anyway, I um, wanted to point out my haircut here. My wife uh, tried to trim a little bit around the edges. Uh, if you can see, it's a little jagged. But the problem is the way my hair grows in, if it's all even, if it starts like shaved and goes even, it ends up making me look like a monkey, like a... It's Munchie Chi, girl doll, boy doll, school time and... Uh, yeah, so anyway, we did a little bit of a, kind of an amateur uh, a hatchet job there. And now, for the book. Rob's Readings. 329, Unknown. I'm in a phone booth at the corner of Walk and Don't Walk. Jackie Mason, oh, my favorite. Wifey and I saw him live here in Westwood. <laughs> uh, 3.30. How come, they picked it, how come they picked you to be an astronaut? You got such great sense of direction. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. 3.31. Eskimo cookbook. Recipe in its entirety. For boiled owl. Take feathers off. Clean owl. And put in cooking pot with lots of water. Add salt to taste. All right, that's 1952. Um, 332. Valuable advice from the Eskimo cookbook. The Eskimo cookbook made two of these in 637 best things anyone ever said. Got to give, give the props to the Eskimo. Uh, what they say here is, do not make loon soup. Do not make soup made of loons. 333, David Letterman. Fall is my favorite season in Los Angeles. Watching the birds change color and fall from the trees. <laughs> that was back in the day when we had like the nation's worst smog problem, I'm sure. So that makes a lot of sense. 334. I met a guy once who was half Italian and half Chinese. His name was Video Pong. <laughs> oh, gosh, you couldn't say that now. That was by unknown. Uh, okay, uh, 335. My father never lived to see his dream come true of an all Yiddish speaking Canada. <laughs> David Steinberg. All right, we're leaving it at that. Uh, it was quite the absurd day with these, and I think that was nice. Um, I kind of like the laugh. Anyway, enjoy your day, and I'm going to see you guys all tomorrow, okay? I love you. Take care of yourselves. Wear the mask when you're outside, and give someone a smile. Open up the mask and go, just so that people know that you're smiling, because it's hard to tell. Okay, catch you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>